Cricket presents The Warm Up. Thanks for joining us again. I'm your host, Neil Beasley. We are rocking and rolling in the Texas high school football season. So once again, it's time to get you warmed up for another week. Let's get things started as we dive into some big time week three matchups in the Louisiana Hot Sauce Hot Zone. There's no bigger game on the docket this week than North Crowley visiting Lovejoy. Last year when these two teams faced off, weren't quite sure what kind of team North Crowley was. Well, after the Panthers beat Lovejoy and went on to an undefeated regular season, we sure found out. North Crowley is for real. That's carried on to this year. They simply dominated their first two opponents, beating them by, listen to this, eight touchdowns each. Yikes. Quarterback Chris Jimerson and running back Cornelius Warren have been consistent big-time performers since today head coach Ray Gates put them on the field. But as impressive as North Crowley's offense has been, Lovejoy's has been just as spectacular, if not more. Alexander Hundo Franklin has already thrown nine touchdown passes in two games. And the Leopards' talented receiving core, led by Texas commit Parker Livingstone, has caught every ball thrown their way. This game could come down to whoever can make a stop in the fourth quarter. Note to Lovejoy's scoreboard operator, do some finger exercises before this one. You'll be punching a lot of numbers this Friday night. How about a game with district title implications on the line in week three? Huge game at Toyota Stadium in Frisco as Reedy takes on Lone Star Thursday night. Reedy was the district champs a year ago. They strung together dominating performances along with a couple miraculous comebacks to go undefeated in the regular season. When they faced Lone Star last year, it was a defensive struggle that the Lions won 13-7. This season, Reedy has had their doubters, but all they've done is hold their opponents to just over 10 points a game. It's that defense they'll need to show up again if they want to slow down the Rangers. Jeff Rayburn's bunch is led by sophomore athlete Davian Gross. Lone Star has proven they can put points on the board, but it's the turnovers that have crippled them early on. Rangers have turned the ball over nine times in two games including six in their only loss, still 48-40 defeat to Texas High. They can eliminate those against Reedy this game to be tight throughout. The Hot Zone is presented by the original Louisiana brand hot sauce. When you need to bring the heat, make all your game day snacks better with Louisiana hot sauce. Switch to Cricket and get four lines for only $25 each per month, plus fast nationwide 5G for all. Smile, you're on Cricket. Warm up your game day with the authentic flavors of ancient cooking. So thin, so crisp, so good, so chill. We caught up with Lovejoy's Peyton Pierce to talk about his commitment to Ohio State in the recruiting trail presented by So Chill Chips and Salsa. Hi, my name is uh, Peyton Pierce. I play linebacker at uh, Lovejoy High School. No doubt. Um, I know it's cold, and I'm, I'm ready for it, I think. But uh, uh, hopefully the, their indoor facility you know, helps out with that. But, um, and uh, it just it really felt like the one. I mean, I went to a bunch of schools and checked them out, and they all just – there was a lot of, like, things I liked and some other things that I liked better about other schools. And when I went there, I just – it felt like the place. I felt like it was – you know, it checked all the boxes and all the categories that I liked, and it uh, it just it felt like home. And uh, I knew I knew when I was there that, that was the place I was going to go to. I I think I have a high motor, and uh, I, I just I have a real high motor. I can get from point A to point B pretty fast, and uh, and I come with you know with some violence. It's it's harder and harder to find people that can do that because there's just so much passing and. You know, the game's real spread out, a little speed oriented. And so I feel like I can play in the box and play out of it and kind of do everything that's uh, that's needed to play linebacker uh, in the modern, modern game and stuff. Well, we just have such a tight team and we're so close together. And I mean, we started off the season, you know, ranked eighth in the state and kind of been look past and I feel like this is the best team we've had so it's kind of put a chip on our shoulders and our defense has been playing lights out and uh, across the board I mean our D-line, DBs, linebackers we've all been doing good it's so much fun and I'm, I'm really just gonna miss the guys like being around them 
um, just someone who came in and helped contribute to win a state championship. I mean, I, I just, I just, I, I feel like it's underwhelming if we don't win it this year. That's the goal. And, you know, Lovejoy's never won state. Never even made it to state before. And uh, I feel like, you know, going out as a state champion and, you know, being the leader of the defense and the captain and uh, contributing on offense too and having an impact across the the whole game um, as one of the one of the impact players. I think that's a that's really special, especially especially when we have a chance to you know win state. So I'm just trying to keep it one game at a time. Hey, we can't get our cameras to all the big games, so here's some other games to keep an eye out for in the hype, presented by Dallas County Connects. Just when we left Cedar Hill for dead after their week one blowout loss to Rockwall. The Longhorns reminded us that they've still got things cooking on the hillside with a 33-2 win over Arlington Martin last week. But before we crown them, the Longhorns face the unenviable task of trying to trip up South Lake Carroll Friday night. It's a home game for Cedar Hill, but they'll need another 100-yard performance from Zay Scott to compete against the talented Dragon offense. And their defense will need to harness what they did against Martin Continue that as they face Georgia Tech commit Graham Knowles at quarterback for Carroll. Knowles has thrown for over 500 yards and six touchdowns in the Dragons' first two blowout victories. Davis Penn has had back-to-back 100-yard -back rushing games after he took over for Carroll's all-time leading rusher, Owen Allen, graduated last spring. Cedar Hill will need to stand strong early or it could be a long night for the Longhorns. Lancaster coming off a loss to South Oak Cliff a week ago this is a Denton Geyer team reeling from a last second loss to Oledo last Friday. Both teams kind of looking to not turn their losses into losing streaks before district play starts. Geyer has nothing to hang their head about, losing to the 11 time state champs from Oledo, especially since last week's 48 45 defeat is getting early nominations for game of the year. Wildcat fans who were worried about who would replace Jackson Arnold at quarterback need not worry anymore. Logan McLaughlin's got this. Eight touchdowns in two games, and he throws one of the best deep balls in the Metroplex. Receivers Josiah Martin and Corbin Glasgow have been the beneficiaries of his bombs. As for Lancaster, the Tigers had a close win over Skyline in week one, and then Sock took control of their game in the second half to hang the L on Weibo Nation. One of Lancaster's strengths has been Kiwan Lacey, who rushed for over 200 yards last week and has shown that burst of speed we're accustomed to from those Tiger athletes. This one should be an offensive show. You shouldn't have to come to the internet. The internet should come to you. Let Dallas County help connect your home with free or low-cost high-speed broadband today. Visit DallasCountyConnects.org. Here's a deal that's not too good to be true. Switch to Cricket Wireless and get a new Samsung A14 5G for the low, low price of free. Smile, you're on Cricket. Let's take a look back at who won our defensive title belt. Plus, we'll see who might come home with one this week in The Buzz. Last week, Lovejoy put up a dominating defensive performance against perennial power Argyle in a 42-14 win. Leopards held the Eagles to under 200 total yards completely shut down the Argyle running game. This week, keep an eye on Byron Nelson to possibly take home the title belt. Bobcats have proven their offense needs to be tinkered with, but it's their defense with nine returning starters that have put the scare into opponents. Byron Nelson takes on a formidable foe in Denton Braswell, so they'll need their A game from that deep. That's going to do it for today's show. Hey, thanks for joining us. We hope you are warmed up for another round of Texas high school football.